Well, hello and good evening, or morning, whatever it is currently and why you're watching this video. But this is another gold making video. My name is Well Mittens Meow, and my first name is actually Brenda. But um, anyway, I do enjoy making gold in World of Warcraft, and I do it pretty passively. I do not farm things. I, I used to, but I just don't have time. I like to play the game. So I do a lot of this just real quick in the morning. I'll post my auctions, and then before I go to bed, I'll post my auctions, reposting these items I sell. So I can kind of go over the what I've made. Um, I'm going to go over how much gold I made and how what items I sold to make that gold and how you could make that gold yourself. So um, let me kind of just do a quick uh, check here because actually I just do all four of those. Um, so basically I have been made, made um, 1.7 million in the last 30 days. Here's the last 30 days. 1.7 million. I have sold over 48,000. This includes vendor items as well because I do sell a lot of vendor items, you know, old um, armor that I don't need because I uh, don't need it or stuff like that. So it, that is counted in this list. But I'm going to go ahead and break down to the auctions first and kind of go from there. And because that's where a lot of my gold's from because this shows a number 1.78, 1.7. 8 million right here. It's 1.780,941 gold. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and break that down right now to just auctions. And then I'm going to kind of go over here and talk about what I sell. So straight up here, you can kind of see 1.7 million. I've sold over 24,000, almost 25,000 items I've sold in the last 30 days. Majority of these items are profession items um with a little mixed in some of this other stuff i can kind of go over but the majority of the gold is from professions um i do have a lot of alts i currently have 27 alts alliance alt on one server and then i have a few more on it some other servers but very very try to keep up with them sometimes especially when it comes to the soup <laughs> i have a spreadsheet but um basically what I do every day is I, I post in the morning, I get my coffee, and I'm going to go ahead and post all my auctions. And that's all my inscriptions on two characters. I do have two inscriptionists. And then the other ones, I do have one leather worker, one tailor, one blacksmith, and one, I know I'm forgetting one, tailor, blacksmith, leather worker. Uh, well, I'll think about it. Alchemy. <laughs> so... I do have all these alts that are set up for these professions, and I don't have them fully lo lo logged in. Um, not logged in, I'm because fully leveled in Dragonflight. This is all old world stuff, though. This is all Shadowlands, BFA stuff I'm selling, not, sh not Dragonflight. That competition is beyond me. I couldn't keep up with it, so I was like, forget it, let them do it. I'm going to go back and do things that I'm more familiar with and from Shadowlands. So, um, and just here in this list, I'm going to go ahead and go to the highest item first. The most value is the alchemical flavor pocket, which is from the soup. So with the soup, they're in Ascara. Um, this is a weekly quest that all, all settle over level 60 and up, 60 to 70 can do this weekly quest you have to do five community feast task which is either um you click your chef hat when it pops up and then complete a task he provides to you run around and just pick up fish meat around if you just want to do it that way you can just choose whatever one you want to do um so usually i go and do two tasks and i grab a fish when i see one or whatever you know, I just try to do as frequent as as frequently as quickly as I can, so I can go into another character. I can usually get five to six characters through a fifteen minute period for the soup. So at the end of that quest, when you turn it into that little panda there by the soup, um, panda or is it a, a scar? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. But anyway, 
<laughs> the crust giver. When you get turn it in, you get an item, open it up. That's where that flavor pocket is. It's an RNG. You do not get it every time. And like this last week, I got one. I think last week I got three. So it really depends. Um, yeah, see, I got two here. <clears throat> so two last week. One before that. One just in the last 24 hours. So, But I did get uh, one on a another server and another so two other ones during a week ago but this is not here on this list but you kind of see where that right here I mean those are the highest 74,000 70 63 59 it's up there in price right now I think it's still hovering around 60 63 this is of course the auction house cut brought it down to 59,000 and so then kind of going down the list to the next highest price item is a Island Expedition Mog, so Transmog. So I do like to run that with our family. We just have a lot of fun going through and just pulling a bunch of stuff. I do it with my brother and my mom, but um, we try to do at least five to six a week, maybe a little bit more. But this is where I get that. I don't farm it, you know, by myself, although you can you can talk to the uh, quest giver there for behind there and to a private tour of the of the uh, island expedition and collect these mugs and pets that um, are do do frequently sell. So um, this rattling bone set is a really cool set. Um, I do get a lot of sales on those, but although recently I haven't been, a lot of mug has not sold lately, so just seeing a few of these in the last three days is quite surprise, surprisingly, but also admitting, truly admitting, uh, I kind of forget to start log into that, that character that we post my auctions every day, so <laughs> just kind of, I might do it once or twice a week, so I probably could get more sales if I wanted to, if I was more diligent in probably posting those auctions. But the next one, the highest, next highest one is this Dyer and Horn Hatchling, which is, is a archaeology pet that drops from Zoldazar in BFA in Battle for Azeroth. So you do have to do the digs on the Zoldazar side. And so clearly you see right now there's only two up. So it's kind of a, you know, something you can always farm up, but you can do it on multiple alts. And um, that's something I need to work on myself because I don't have any more on the auction house right now. And um, but I usually do it on a character that's level from 60 to 70, so that way you can easily kill mobs that are around without having to um, uh, do a lot of a uh, <laughs> corpse runs. So um, that's something to kind of think about. That's one to kind of farm. Another one is a noble garden bunny, which you cannot farm per se. You have to wait for the noble gardening event, which will come up here in the next few months and that one quite frequently sells throughout the year for me so I did recently sell one I always level all my pets to level 25 and I do that by doing the legion pets there in um in legion using Delara or whatever I just kind of log, log on to well pet guide and see if there's any of those leveling quests up and I do them on a a, a few days you know I might go and do at least five or six at a time Although today I didn't get to them at all. So, you know, like right now there's currently one up, but I did not make it. So if I do, I try to at least level to five to six up. Character, oh gosh, five to six pets to 25 when there's one of those leveling quests up. But um, here, the next two here are, again, on an expedition mogs. Another uh, common one that I sell out of is the Dragon Rider and the Murgle, the girl, <laughs> Griddle. But just the set itself sells. These set and the Dragon Rider set, they sell a lot. Um, this is a Willy. This is a pet from Children's Week. So this past year, I didn't do a lot of big stock. I've sold them all. I only have a few more left. If that, I might have one or two. I don't think I have any more Willy. But um, but I usually try to do as many, many alts through the Children's Week events to stock up on my pets throughout the show can sell throughout the year this plundered um weapon is also a also an island expedition weapon the next here are going to be an enchanted items there oh, this is an alchemy pets alchemy alchemy yeah alchemy pets 
and that you can make through alchemy is enchanted pin, torch, and cauldron. I'm double checking that, be sure I'm reading that right. I know I looked it up on those details. Yeah, alchemy professions. Just wanted to double check, be sure I'm remembering this. But um, those three items are from alchemy profession. I can make them myself. This rotten helper was from just recently from the Winter Bell uh, event. Um, that was for seven thousand. We got a pearl, another uh, island expedition item, a pet. Um, I sold one of those for four thousand. And then I do have these shade bound weapons. You got shade bound. You got shadow scale. You got shadow steel. Uh, shadow lace. You got. I think I did shade bound. Yeah, those are all from Shadowlands. The two sixty two armor that you can. Um, that you're able to make, even though for some reason, when you hover over this, it shows 165. It is actually 262. You do need to do a Zero Mortis questing and get to Revere to be able to make these um, armors, armor items. But I did get all my uh, professions leveled, profession, my characters that had those professions leveled up to Zero Mortis, so that way that you were able to do it. Um, another one that is quite surprising actually are these bags, these burnished inscription bag, the burnished uh, leather working bag, and the burnished mining bag, which is from your garrison. Um, it needs to be a leather. They need to be a leather worker. So I do have my leather worker set up to make all three of those bags, and they sell quite frequently. Actually, be surprised. Let me kind of look here. Bag. I only sold a few, <laughs> but I sold a leather bag, leather bag, inscription bag, and I did sell two of the other worldly bags, which is a um, tailoring, enchanting bag that a tailor can make. But um, I don't post it a lot, but they do sell, surprisingly. But um, I'm trying to kind of scan through if I see anything else that pops up. But another thing that I do sell a lot of, and that's where even though... It's not a lot of gold. It's actually inscription. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oops, wait a minute. I typed that wrong. That's so slow. Come on. YPH. We're going to start with the glyph stuff first. So these are the glyphs that I frequently sell. I'm going to go ahead and sort by how many items I've sold with these. So I've sold a 318 in the last 30 days of the Spectral Vulpine. Um, the lavish servings, I've sold over 101 of those. That's a BFA, uh, inscription item. You do need a mage to get that item. A mage needs a pocket while in a dungeon group. So, I did set this up on one other character, but you really don't need it. You only need one. So, I think I got this lavish serving, uh, um, recipe, honestly, was during, I was doing the comp stop. And I put it out, and I got it. I was surprised. But, hey, it's coming out pretty good. Yeah. So the other one is the, I think I told you the Volpine. But the Volpine and Lupine, which is basically a Artemild item. You get it from Artemild. And um, those are those. And the Dire Bees is the other one I sell a lot of. You can kind of see I missed a little bit 449 of those total. But in the last 30 days, it shows 21. But um, I do sell a lot of those, and that does come from the B event there in Stormsong Valley. That is that V event that is a random spawn. You kind of have to fly around and look for that little bee that's hovering over a flower patch, and you activate it, and you get a swarm. Uh, you know, get the unlimited mods, mobs. But at a level seventy well geared character, you can do it quite easily. I was able to get to like round forty five with the group uh, just recently. So. Um, I was trying to get, I wanted to get uh, another Pappy. <laughs> I have not been able to get that yet. Another one. I've got one. But anyway, um, but those are the main glyphs. The other one I sell a lot of is a mark of. Let me see. Come on. 
So Mark of Deathwing Raven. I've sold twelve of those. I do um, also sell the Mark the Midnight's Moon stack and the Sable Artemoth. Um, I do have my other fire uh, mage make those because she's exalted with Artemold and she got all these because she was a with the um, the Artemold covenant. I can't think of the name right now. But so she was able to get these pretty easily. So she makes these. Um, but I only make them if they're profitable. Some of these you do have to be careful with the. Um, let me go back here for a second. So Umbra, Ubra, whatever. Let me just go to Shadowlands for a second. You do have to be careful with. Let's go down here because I don't have them. The Umbral ink. That is very, very, very expensive. So right now, it's, oh, this is that one. I, I do not have it. I have yet to get that to drop. Um, but this one here, look, it's a loss. It's showing a profit loss on this one. Um, they think the only one that I actually make gold on is the Mark of the Sable Artemoth. That's the only one I'm currently baking and selling on my uh, Frost Mage. Um... Oh, I haven't even thought about this one. Oh, it's not worth much. But you see this profits because of this umber wink. They're going for 59 gold each. So it's very, if you want to go out and farm the herbs for it, usually you need Widow Balloon. There's a couple ones. I, at the, Maldrox is the best place to farm that, those herbs for that. But I just don't have time to herb. I don't think so. So I buy it when it's profitable. <laughs> when I see that it's selling enough here to offset the cost to make so like this one here to craft is 1400 it's currently going for 1650 so you get 143 dollars three gold profit on it so you kind of can look at that but um there's something to kind of think of um let me kind of go over here i to kind of go over the soup and another thing a little bonus bit bonus uh gold making uh thing i do want to say is um alts it's very good to have <laughs> but um i do do gold quests in dragonflight on two characters um and for sure if i do i might log on some other alts if there's something really quick like a raft or something like that i might go do it on a couple of characters most of the time though no. i just do it on my two pages and, um, but the two, the ones I will do is the Field of Veracity there in the Northern Plains. That one's usually over a thousand gold sometimes, as well as the Maw Quest. So I know we didn't like them all, but the one you want to look out for, oh, why is this so big? Is this quest here in the Maw. It's the containing the Hell Sworn. Sometimes that's over a thousand gold. I also farm Corthia on this character. Although I don't think I got to it this week. But I do do it on my my uh, Frost Mage. Because my family loves to do it. So we go and we do it a couple of days of the week. So we usually spend about 10-15 minutes there. Running through the quest real fast and getting as much as we can done. Hope to get it done in one day. If not, we come back for the second day and finish it. Um, but it's good to do because that... That quest right here, the uh, Shaping Fate, does give rep to all the Covenants. So at the very end, if you have your Exalted um, here, you're going to get a check mark here. And I think a lot of people do remember them, but a lot of people don't want to go back to Shadowlands. But it, this one here, I need to go actually go turn in and get the 3,000 gold for this. So it's usually over 3,000 gold inside that emissary. You do not get the gold from the Shaping Fate. You get like 200 gold. That one has been nerfed, but it's the Emissaries that you do get the gold. And it's also the the Archivist Codex gets it, as well as Death Advance. They're over 3,000 gold for those um, supplies. So something to think about, just to do that real quick quest there in Corthia and get that 500 rep. If there's that quest up where you get extra bonus uh, experience for the world quest list, world quest list, <laughs> world quest event, where you get the bonus uh, rep, that's something to do during that time, especially with Corthia, because you get bonus rep for all those reps. 
so something to kind of think of do real quick to get some extra gold that way. Um, I do do some cards of omen still, not that frequent lately, but um, let me go to my ledger here. So, um, see, I don't. I sold some on the auction house. <laughs> I forgot I sold them. So I actually sold for over 4000 on the auction house for 18 k one time. But I started to look at the math, and it's actually better just to flip them. <laughs> so lately, I've been... But if I have way too many, just throw them on the auction house. People will buy them all the time. So it's kind of th something to think about. If you want to kind of... I do not keep up with my characters here in my garrison, but if I do, I can get to make a lot of cards of open. Come on, type already. There it is. So like here, I sold... Those are auctions. How about to vendor? Oh, it'll be a blood card. What would they say? Oh, wait. Stick off the card. Is it a card? It's how they were, they were like blood cards or whatever. Shouldn't be doing this when I'm doing a video. Card. Yeah, see, blood card. So, um, you kind of just do that. So I made over, so this one here was 46 gold. I'm kind of just going through it here real fast. Just to see how much is it fits all, mostly I should say, cards of omen. Yeah, there is some of this uh, trinkets that drop from the soup here that sell for about 48 gold each, so, but kind of hard to get the exact it's blood card right what if I just search art card I don't know anyway beyond the situation it's something to kind of think of um and also real quick on the soup um as a for your ults there's a quest called the orientation of Ascara do not do it do not complete that quest because once you do that, the NPCs do move to the locations throughout the little island there. The, oh, not really island, I'm sorry. The area. But if you do not do that quest, they kind of do hover around there by the flight master. So it makes doing those tasks for the soup much more quickly. Instead of having to go fight them throughout the area. There's still a few that you have to run to, but the majority of them are right there behind the flight master. Um, I should say in front of the flight master. Behind the soup. But that's a kind of my little pointer. But um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And thank you so much for joining. And please just like and subscribe for more gold making videos. Um, there'll be more coming. Because I love to make gold in World of Warcraft. Because I love this game. <laughs> Alright. Have a wonderful day, evening, morning, wherever you are. Thank you so much for joining. And I shall see you in the next video.